Hello. In this session, we are discussing about the design of IC engine cylinder. Actually, we will be solving a numerical example of the design of IC engine cylinder. The question that we will be solving in this session is design a cast iron cylinder for a single acting four stroke diesel engine with the following specifications brake power 5 kilowatts, speed 850 rpm, indicated mean effective pressure 0.45 megapascal, mechanical efficiency 80 percent. Assume suitable data if required and state the assumptions you make. The data book used for solving this question is the one prepared by Mahadevan and K. Baravir Reddy and published by CBS Publishers and Distributors Private Limited. The title of the data book is Design Data Handbook for Mechanical Engineers. The data given in the problem are the brake power BP is 5 kilowatts that is 5000 watts. The speed of the crank, that is N, is 850 rpm. The indicated mean effective pressure, PM, is 0.45 megapascal or 0.45 newton per millimeter squared. The mechanical efficiency, eta, is 80 percentage, that is 0.8. Now, in the first step, we determine the bore diameter and length of the cylinder. We need the stroke length to cylinder diameter ratio and we assume that this particular ratio Ls by D is 1.5. The relation for finding out the diameter of the cylinder capital D is 1000 into 4P divided by pi by 4 Pm B the whole raised to 1 by 2. This is given as equation 18.5A in page number 405. In this relation, P is the indicated power that can be calculated as BP divided by eta, where BP is the brake power that is given as 5 kilowatts, eta is the efficiency that is 0.8, therefore the indicated power P is 5 by 0.8 that is 6.25 kilowatts. Now, PM is the indicated mean effective pressure that is 0.45 megapascal or 0.45 newton per millimeter squared. V is the mean speed of the piston that is 2 LS N where LS is the length of the stroke. From the ratio of the length of the stroke to the diameter, we can find out LS as 1.5 times D divided by 1000 meters. Now, the speed of the engine N is capital N divided by 60, that is 850 divided by 60, so N is in RPS. Therefore, the mean speed of the piston V is calculated as 0.0425 D. Now, by substituting the values in the relation for finding out the bore diameter and rearranging the temps, we get D raised to 3 by 2 equal to 1290.43 and from this relation we can find out D as 118.5 millimeter or we round it up to 120 millimeter. Now the length of the stroke can be determined as LS equal to 1.5 times D that is 180 millimeter. Now we obtained the length of the stroke as 180 millimeter but on both sides of the stroke, some clearance is necessary. We assume 50 percentage of the stroke length as the clearance and hence the length of the cylinder L is given as 1.15 times LS that is 207 or we round it up to 210 millimeter. So the length of the cylinder is 210 millimeter. Now in the next step, we determine the thickness of the cylinder using the equation 18.6a in page number 405. The thickness of the cylinder T is given as 0.045d plus 1.5 millimeter, where d is the diameter of the cylinder that is 120 millimeter. Substituting the value of d, we obtain T as 6.9 millimeter or we round it up to 8 millimeter. Now the thickness of the jacket wall Tj is obtained using the equation 18.6b in page number 405. 
Tj equal to 0 0.032D plus 1.5 millimeter. Substituting the value of D, we obtain Tj as 5.34 or by rounding, we obtain Tj as 6 millimeter. Now, in step 3, we determine the thickness of the cylinder head. From equation 18.7a in page number 406, the minimum thickness of the cylinder head can be found out. The relation for the minimum thickness T min is capital D into square root of Kp divided by sigma D. D is 120 millimeter. K is an empirical constant that we take as 0 0.162. This is obtained from the table 18.1 in page number 412. Considering the head to be an integral flat head with a diameter at least 120 millimeter. P is the maximum pressure and we assume it to be 10 times the indicated mean effective pressure. Therefore, P is 4.5 megapascal. Now, sigma D is the allowable design stress. We take it as 37 megapascal and this value is obtained from the table 18.2 in page number 412 by considering a maximum temperature of 480 degrees Celsius and diameter of 120 millimeter. Therefore, T min is obtained as 16.8. Since it is the minimum thickness required, we round it off to a higher value that is 18 millimeter. Now in the step 4, we determine the number of studs required to fix this cylinder head with the cylinder. So the number of studs I equal to 0.015D plus 4. This is from the equation 18.8 in page number 407. So I is obtained as 5.8 since I used to be a, an integer. We take it as 6. Now the nominal diameter of the studs. We assume that the studs are made of steel with an allowable tensile stress of 40 megapascal. In order to find out the nominal diameter of the studs, we equate the force acting on the cylinder head and the total resisting force offered by all the studs. So the force acting on the cylinder head Fh can be found out as pi d squared by 4 p max and the resisting force offered by all the studs Fr equal to pi dc squared by 4 i sigma t where dc is the core diameter of the stud. Now equating Fh and Fr, pi d squared by 4 p max equal to pi dc squared by 4 i sigma t. In this case, d is the diameter of the cylinder that is 120 millimeter. p max is the maximum pressure that is 4.5 megapascal. i is the number of studs that is 6. And sigma t is the allowable design stress that is 40 megapascal. Now, by substituting the values, we obtain DC as 16.4. So, it is the core diameter of the stat. So, the nominal diameter D is obtained as DC by 0 0.8, that is 20.5, or we round it off to the standardized value, that is 22 millimeter. Now, in the next step, we determine the pitch of the stats. Actually, the pitch of the studs is the arc length between two consecutive studs in the pitch circle diameter of the studs. The pitch circle is the imaginary circle in which the studs are fixed in the cylinder head. So, the pitch circle diameter of the studs, dp is capital D plus 3 times small d. Capital D is the bore diameter that is 120 and small d is the nominal diameter of the studs that is 22 millimeter so dp is obtained as 186 millimeter now the pitch of the studs is pi dp divided by i that is 97.34 millimeter the allowable range of the pitch can be obtained using the equation 18.9 d in page number 408 the allowable range is given as 3.5 d to 7 d. So in our case, 
it is between 77 to 154. Our selected pitch of the studs is 97.34 millimeter. So it is well within the allowable range of the pitch and hence it is safe. Now in order to summarize the specifications of the cylinder, the bore diameter is 120 millimeter, the length of the stroke is 180 millimeter, length of the cylinder is 210 millimeter, thickness of cylinder 8 millimeter, thickness of jacket wall 6 millimeter, thickness of cylinder head 18 millimeter, number of studs 6, nominal diameter of studs 22 millimeter, pitch circle diameter of studs 186 millimeter, pitch of studs 97.34 millimeter. And that's all. Thank you.